Here's how to delete all viruses on your iPhone. Now, if you suspect your iPhone might have a virus, I'm gonna walk you through various steps on where most likely to find them and how to delete them. So let's hop into settings here. And the first thing that we'll do is we'll hop into Safari. If we scroll down and tap on Safari and then scroll down, what we're gonna do is hit clear history and website data. Most likely this is one of the places that you might pick up a virus is either in Safari or in your files. So I'll show you how to clear Safari. Let's hit clear history and data here. This will wipe out all of the information associated with Safari and any viruses that might be stuck in there. So once we do that, we're gonna go back and go to the very top and tap on our name. And then let's tap on iCloud. And then you'll choose iCloud Drive under Photos here. And then we'll tap on Manage Storage midway down. So you can see this has a bunch of different information, downloads, documents, and desktop. In the downloads, this might be a potential place that you have a virus lurking in there that you wanted to delete. So just hit that delete documents and data that will remove all of this information and help to clear out any kind of virus. Now, if you go through both of these steps and you still suspect that there might be a virus, you can always just back up your iPhone and restore to factory default. This will wipe out any kind of virus that might be lurking in any of the settings or in any of the software on your phone. So to do that, let's go back, let's go back, and then let's tap on iCloud backup and then hit backup now. So you wanna back up your iPhone to basically keep all of your information, your messages, all of that stuff, and not lose those. But then after you do that, let's go back again, and then we'll tap on general. And then at the very bottom, we'll hit transfer or reset iPhone. And then we're gonna hit erase all content and settings. This will erase everything on your phone and bring it back to factory default, wiping out that virus. And then after that, you can slowly add things back in from your backup so that you can basically test to see if those things have viruses too. But after you go through all of this process, you shouldn't have any viruses on your iPhone. If you're still having issues, I recommend going into the Apple store. They can plug in your phone and run some diagnostics to see if they see any viruses or instances of viruses or hacks on your iPhone. Hope this helps. Do you have any questions on that? Leave them in the comments down below and I'll catch you on the next one.